An API gateway is a server that routes API calls through a unified URL to the various atoms, molecules, or clouds in an environment or external services. The API gateway allows you as the API owner to control what access your API consumer receives for the API proxy or API service components deployed within Boomi integration. At this point in the class, we've published APIs to Boomi's production atom. Now in this activity, we lay the groundwork for additional authentication available through the gateway. We do that by installing a local atom, an authentication broker, and then extending that broker as the gateway. This will allow us to use authentication types beyond basic and also access the developer portal in upcoming sections of the course. To add authentication types other than basic to your APIs in the training account, you need to install a local Atom runtime. Remember, Boomi's Atom clouds allow for basic authentication only, not gateway. So in this exercise, we will install a local Atom in a Windows operating system. You can download the installer one of two ways. You can do it under Atom Management or here on the Build tab. So from the Build tab, I'll click Atom, and then the Operating System Windows 64. For the security option, I'm going to generate a token with a lifespan of 24 hours and copy that. Now I'm ready to download the installer. After the download concludes, I can view the installer in the folder. So here in my downloads folder, I'll select the Atom install, right click and run as administrator. You do need to have local admin rights on the machine to install the Atom. I'll follow the prompt and now I see the Atom setup wizard. So I'll click next and then choose the token method for authentication entering the token that I copied. I'm going to give the Atom a name of Local Atom API and click Next. We can accept the default destination directory, click Next, and just follow the prompts. So now the Atom is being installed on the computer. All right, the installer has completed, so I can click Finish. And now under Atom Management, I'm going to configure a new environment. We can see that my Atom is still coming online. But while that's happening, I'll click New and select Environment. This will be a production environment, and I'll call it API Production. All right, so I've created the environment. My local atom is up. I'm just going to attach that to the API production environment. So I have the local atom attached to API production, the atom cloud on production, and then the test atom cloud in the test environment. Now I do want to update the local Atom's shared web server settings. First, I'm going to override the default base URL for API requests. We're going to do everything using localhost. So I'll update that to localhost 9090. Set the API type to advanced. The authentication type is going to be gateway. And I will click Save to restart the Atom and send all those changes to the Atom.
Now I need to deploy some APIs, including the API proxy, to this new environment. But to remain within the training account's license connections, I also need to undeploy some processes and APIs first. I'm going to do that. This is all outlined in the activity guide. So with everything deployed and undeployed, now it's time for me to install an authentication broker. That's essentially an Atom installation, but using a different binary. So in this exercise, we will install an authentication broker in a Windows operating system. I'm going to come to the API management section of the platform. And under Configure Server, I'll select External Authentication. Click New and select Authentication Broker. Once again, I'll select Windows 64-bit, generate a token, and copy that. Then I'll download the installer. So the installer has downloaded. I will show it in folder. And then I want to run this as administrator. I'll accept the Windows prompt to allow the change to be made on my computer while the install wizard prepares the installer. Now I'm in the broker setup wizard. I'll click next, select token, just like I did before, enter the uh, security token and the broker name, we're going to call this broker API course. Now for the destination directory, this is going to be a little bit different than what we were doing with the uh, Atom install. So in your directory, you want to have a share folder, which is where we're going to install the broker. We also want to have a folder called Boomi with a local and a temp folder in that. This is where we'll install the broker's local and temp directories. Let me come here to the share, copy the directory, and then I'll load that and broker for the destination directory. Now I can enter the local and temp directories. So here's local and then another directory for temp. Click next. And from here, I can accept all the defaults. All right, and the installer has finished, so I'll click Finish. And then in just a little bit, my broker will be online. Here it is. And we're going to need to reconfigure the broker settings. So in order to access the APIs, we're running everything on our local machine, including the Atom, the broker, and the gateway. So we're going to be using localhost 8080 for our broker's bind address. Alternatively, we could use a static public IP. So here under the broker's settings, I am going to add a cluster node of localhost. And then I will set the bind address from this default to localhost 8080. I'll save that. Now, under broker information, we can restart the broker just to make sure that all the changes are applied to the broker. Then after the broker restarts and comes back online, we can confirm access to the authentication broker 
by doing a health check. So if we go to localhost 8080 slash auth, we will find the Keycloak homepage. Well, next we want to add a new gateway. And we're going to use the broker that we installed previously. So we don't need a lot of bandwidth. We're not getting too complex with our network. So we are going to extend this broker to be the gateway. So I'll come here to API Gateways, and I'm going to click New. Now here we have an option. You could install a new gateway. This would be similar to installing a local Atom or a broker where you download the gateway installer. But instead, I'm going to select Add Broker as Gateway. Here's my one and only available broker, so I'll click Create. And now the gateway has been created. I do need to attach the API production environment to this gateway. In order to do that, here under Gateway Settings, I'll scroll down, check API Production, click Save. And now you can see that the environment has been attached to the broker. Now we do have more to do, but our local Atom, broker, and gateway are installed, properly configured. And in the next sections, we're going to add an authentication source to the broker and look at basic authentication through the gateway. We do have some optional net stat tests that you can run as command prompts to make sure that the Atom, the broker, and the gateway are all active and listening on their respective ports. Those are outlined in the activity guide. This video concludes now, but you can follow the steps in the activity guide to complete the activity on your own.